What's going on, everybody? Tyler and Sean here from Rendered Reality. Thanks for joining us again on Coffee and VR, as always. And thank you to all the new subs and stuff, man. That video, woo. VR is blowing up, yo. Up. Quest it's 2, ridiculous. it's out. It's blowing up. VR is going mainstream, and it's not dead Who anymore. Isn't buying a new sub, right? <laughs> or a new headset, right? I mean, it's like, honestly, it's... It's amazing what it is doing for us as, you know, previous VR consumers. Uh, but honestly, for the people getting to try for the first time, I'm so excited. And I'm always up for helping everyone who's, you know, new to this. Because yeah. I see on these, you know, Facebook groups and Reddit and stuff, everyone's complaining about all the new people too. But you know what? It's going to help you in the long run. So yeah, you got so to love these people. You were a new person in VR one time. Yeah, so that's right. I was, share in, the love, uh, I was in some multiplayer games this week uh, on the day Quest, la Quest 2 launched. And there were so many new people. Like I went into Onward oh, and almost dude. everybody in there had just, this was their first time in VR. They were trying to figure out how Onward worked. I mean, they were asking yep. so many questions. I was trying to tell them what you need to do and how to do your loadout. And it was just, it was good though. I mean, there's just so many new people. Even my sister got one, you know, her, her kids, my nephews have been playing it like crazy. Every time I go on there, they're playing bait or something like that. You know, it's yep. just uh, awesome. My older nephew, he's excited for population one. He can't wait to play that. I can't Where wait to play he? with him. That's going to be so, yep. so cool. So I I mean, it was yeah. a big, huge week for VR. I mean, the launch of the Quest 2 is is massive for VR as a whole. It really is, and it, it's been exciting. It was a little tough. It was a little tough for a lot of people, myself included, yeah. um, which we'll get into that too. But yeah, so what have you been playing, man? So thanks for that sub. Cheers, uh, so cool. for me, the first thing I went into, and I said it before, and I stuck to it with my original plan. The first thing I went into was real VR fishing, and it looked amazing. Right. It looked so good. I mean, it, the visuals in that game already looked amazing, and, and on Quest 2, it's even better than Quest 1. Uh, when I went in, I had lost all of my stuff, and I was level, you know, the highest level you could go oh, to yeah, and yeah. all my stuff, and I thought it would roll over because the cloud saves, and it didn't, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to have to start <laughs> over. So I did me message them on Twitter, and they were able to load everything back in for me so right. awesome which Shout i have been open about that yeah. yeah that if anybody does have issues with that email them and they yeah, will try you just and give me your oculus id side. and they can yep. do a cloud restore so shout out to them awesome dev team i really appreciate that i love the game so i know what you went into first time but why don't you talk right. about what you played for the first time in your well, quest okay so i'm just gonna back step just a little bit so the day before release right the 12th i thought my headset was coming not on release day but the day after on the 14th and yeah. i was really bummed about it I was actually past bummed. I was pretty pissed off for a uh, a botch launch, let's call it. Yeah. And I was really pissed because I'm like, seriously, like you're gonna have yours. I don't want to hear anything from anybody else about you know their experience with it. I love to have that like newbie first time experience, opening a headset, trying it on, what the visuals are like without hearing anything really. So I knew that was going to be hard to do getting it the next day because everyone's going to be talking about it. Right. And uh, the day of that morning, it said I was receiving it. So I didn't take the full day off, which I had kind of wanted to. I did come home early. Well, by chance, Pop One was having a play test uh -huh. about, I don't right know, five minutes after home. I got yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. So I ripped into my box, which because I knew I wanted to play Pop One for my first experience because we had streamed it the night before. Right. So before I was on an something? index pl playing it and I knew this would be like easy comparison because I just played the game. It's fresh in my mind on another headset. Uh, and we got in, I got it, you know, opened up, charged up for a millisecond and, uh, got in and yeah, I mean it, I got into it quick set up super simple and easy. I'd already linked my Facebook stuff. So I knew I didn't have to. And yeah, man, I don't know. It was, it was amazing. Now there aren't graphical improvements in the game. Obviously we know because pop one is the same across basically from quest mobile to PC version. So I wasn't gaining anything of that. So it was an easy comparison to see. And I thought it was beautiful yeah. i mean there's there's no getting around it i mean the, the asw doesn't kick in you don't see any you know imperfections in the screen or screen door effect yeah the it's resolution is great, great. i mean that that almost 4k resolution you know 2k per eye it looks really really good and mm. when i and i did do some stuff with link and virtual desktop and stuff too and man it looks yep. really really good when hooked up to a pc and i think like we've talked about before the quest 2 is going to continue to get better you know it's coming out out of the gate at 72 hertz other than experimental right. features in the home and web browsers and stuff and eventually a lot of games are going to see 90 hertz eventually a lot of games are going to be i mean we're already seeing a ton of games that are being updated to take advantage of quest 2 you know oh, higher yeah 
higher uh, shaders and resolution and, you know, all yep. the uh, textures, all that stuff. And it, it really, like, I've, I've went in, just hopped into a lot of games just to see the differences, you know, yep. like Red Matter and stuff like that. And, I mean, it's oh, it's getting closer – to being able hard, to be hard to tell between PC VR and, and quest. Two. Really there, there's still a line there. There's still a definitive line, sure. but it, it is starting to get blurred. I mean, there was a clear difference from being on a PC VR game to a quest one game. Right. I mean, it was I like know. night and day difference. Yeah. And now it was it's like, like a phone to a console before. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it is getting Please. better. I mean, I am, I was already impressed what they were able to do with the first quest. I really was. And the quest two is just, Man, it, it's really getting a lot better, and I think it's going to continue to get better. They're going to continue to improve it. It's going to get better and better as we go, and it's, it's been an exciting week. I mean, I took the whole day off uh, Tuesday for the launch of this thing, basically, and I just I spent all day just playing around with it. You know, I tried the regular strap. I tried the elite strap, and like you said with the shipping, I was super bummed because I ordered the elite strap and the was, uh, yeah. regular, both elite straps from Amazon. And then I ordered an elite strap with battery from right. Oculus with my Oculus order. My Oculus order didn't show up till the next day. So I ordered the second that pre-order went live on Oculus.com. I know, and man. I still Come didn't on. get it to the next day. Like they totally screwed that up. Everybody that pre-ordered like, from Oculus, they should I have agree. had that day one. They should have had that so, on the 13th. Yeah, that is the first pre-order. Those are your the people who are that passionate about this headset are watching that, buying it instantly. And you couldn't, and you're you couldn't pre-order order anywhere else except for Oculus for at least ten or twenty minutes. Correct. If I I don't remember how long it was, but right at first I it was only Oculus. I could have went to Best Buy and picked one up physically before I would have got. And that's just a botched botched release in my eye. Yeah, and and, and not only the headset, it's the straps, man. Mm. Like. I, and I know they must have had either production issues or shipping issues or something because nobody had them. You know, not even Best Buy, uh, Amazon, nobody. I think had they them. just sold so, that many. I think they sold no, that many pre-orders. There's no I way. No, there, there's no way yeah. though. I don't think. Tony, Tony Digital. Cheers, man. Thank the you. Super chat. He said, "Beyond happy with my Quest battery strap and VR cover. I like yep. how fast it takes to load your home screen. It used to take forever. Yeah, that's a big improvement. When you True. put that headset on, you turn it on. I feel like Quest One took forever to actually get into VR, right. and that's and that's annoying because you're just staring at black screen, and that's not that's never a fun experience in VR to just see nothingness. You know what I mean? That's right. never fun. So the faster wait, you can get that yeah. thing loaded up and in, into VR is is better, right. and, and that's you know showing the power of that processor compared right. to the old 835. And we are but... going to talk about some G2 stuff here later. I just want to say, you know, we aren't going to just stick on Quest 2 because there are a ton of other amazing headsets yeah. coming and out. I mean, we've been doing uh, VR for a, a long time, right. and we've been yeah. PC VR guys for a long time, but the Quest 2 hype is so big right now, it's hard to not – you know, talk about all this stuff right now because it, 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 really it is, is really exciting. But, uh, and, and I honestly think you're talking about the elite strap with the battery and nobody had it. I really think they sold that many because I saw pictures of lots of those boxes in the Best Buys. I think they sold that many pre orders that they didn't have enough to put on the shelves. And there were some Best Buys that had but on the shelves. But that's their though, own but, fault. That's the problem. There's, uh, there's an issue saying. there. You know what I mean? There's, they should have I don't made care more. how many they sell, they should have produced more or stop selling them stop doing pre-orders if you can't fulfill it by that yeah, date yeah and that's where the issue lies with me so all these places are getting shorted i mean what there was i think one elite strap at a best buy like 150 miles German away from it. He's so the man for real. cheers Jeremy. yeah Thank you, Looking forward to hear how everyone is enjoying their Quest 2. Hope nobody got problems with accounts. Yeah, we're going to get into some of that, That has been too. an issue. Yeah, yeah we will talk about that. that here. Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, I tried Apex Construct. Um, oh, yeah, me too. Looked amazing, Good. man. Yeah. It really does. I, I love that game. I love the... Uh, the audio cues during like the loading screens, you know, you're not just in, you know, we talk about loading too in VR, you're hearing somebody talk to you and stuff. Yep. And that presence feels so cool in that game. You know, I haven't played it in a while and going back in, I really do miss that game. Um, yeah, I so think, many good games to go back I to. I think there's a, a big missed opportunity of loading stuff in VR. I think that is something that developers need to start looking into. Like yeah. even you talked about just having a voice, you know, having something talking to you while it's loading yep. in. Uh, there, there has to be ways that we can do that better than what we've done them on consoles and regular games, you know, loading, loading screens, just, I mean, even half-life Alex did something a little bit different where at least in the loading screens, you could see the, the map, map and stuff. And right. it still, it was better, but I still think there's room for improvement. And I, and I hope sure. that is something that 
we can do, which I know it's difficult because you're trying to load something in. So to be able to play something while something is trying to load in, I, I you know, I don't know the logistics of that exactly, but yeah, I mean, I don't think you have to play anything as long. I mean, but you are loading into a, I don't know. Yeah. yeah I it, mean, it, even it, just it a picture some. with right. like uh, right. depth sure. to it, you know what I mean? A multi-layered picture that kind of moves when or you stuff move, around you, know you I mean? a 360 something. image yeah, wrapped something. or something. There has, sure, to, be, there has to be some options for that, but I agree. Yeah. yeah. So yep. I mean, it was disappointing when the launch, because with people that are still waiting, you know, I do feel bad for the yeah, people I right agree. now that are watching this that still haven't received their headset yet. I've seen comments. I've seen people saying it. You know, I ordered this thing right away. I still don't have it yet. And that that's unfortunate, really. I mean, that stinks for them. I mean, in a world that we live in now, you know, we want immediate satisfaction. We want to be able to order something and have it right away. And we've been trained to accept that, you know, we've been trained to, you know, have two day shipping or instant shipping and stuff. So it does think to have to wait when everybody else has it and you were supposed to have it on launch day. Like that, that the needing it right now doesn't bother me. It's the pre-ordering it months in advance from the company and yeah. not going to get it on release day that that that's, that's going to piss me off yeah, yeah. That's i don't care <laughs> if amazon can't ship it in a day or two that that's what you're doing you're, you're a third party involved in that but when you're drilling dealing right with the the company who manufactures it that's yeah bs man. that's what i think i think that, yeah. that all of the oculus.com pre-orders should have been there day one if it didn't show up right away from amazon or best buy or something yep. a little bit more acceptable you know but still a pre-order that's supposed to be on day one i think that that stinks but but yeah, I mean, because we know, we know they had those shipments at Best Buy a week before, yeah. so they got their inventory. You yeah, know what I mean? Best Buy seemed to be the best place. So for now on, I don't even sure. know that I'm going to order from Oculus.com. I agree. I'm just gonna, I, mean, I don't Best think Buy, I am either. I went there at 10 a.m. in the morning as soon as they opened, which was cool because there was actually a line of people there. And I put some yeah. pictures on our Discord. If you're not in our Discord, uh, should be a link in the description. Make sure you jump on there. Yep. A lot of really cool people on there. Uh, I was waiting in line. Well, I wasn't waiting in line. I was sitting in my car. There was people waiting in line. And I was like, you know, once it opens, I'm just going to go in there. It's not Black Friday like it's not a two-hour line there was like five or six people so you know i took a picture and a lot of them were like not old people but older than what you would expect and i was like and i put a picture on the discord i was like oh i don't know that any of these people are here to pick up a quest too you know they're probably just here waiting for the store to open well it was black friday too well it was black friday yeah it was their black friday yeah Yeah. but what the interesting part was is i went in and the first thing i did is i went in and i went back to the shelf to see what all was on the shelf for the oculus display and at this store they didn't have anything they had nothing on the shelf they had only the old oculus display sure. uh it was a different one that i went to that had the new quest 2 out a couple days before on display right. uh so i went back there i looked and then i went and got in line to pick up my pre-order so there was you know about five six people in front of me well out of those five or six people there was a i can't remember it was three or four of them that walked away yeah. with a quest 2 box that's in their cool. arm with a huge smile on their face and i was like that's cool you know like i, I walked in it you is. know vr has never been that huge so i didn't really expect to see too many other people there picking up that pre-order you know and and I did, and I was like, wow, this is this is pretty cool, you know. And I even had yeah. I had like my VR gamer shirt on that you see in some of the footage because it was from the same day that I picked it up, and it was just cool. It was just cool to see, I think. And it looked like Best Buy's had I don't know from all the pictures around sixty headsets probably for release day, so they should have had pretty good inventory. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think you could but... even go there after you know, later in the day. And there was still sure. some at a lot of them that sure. you can pick up. So the stock of the quest Two headset itself seems to be pretty good. It's the elite strap with battery right now. Cause even the yep. regular elite strap, you can still find that some places, but the elite which strap we, with the battery is the one that's, which we are going to nitpick those apart too. Um, so Maple Dan and chat said, I received a $30 credit from Oculus to compensate for a one, one day or one delay, which one day delay I'm assuming from UPS on my huh. quest Two delivery. Um, so, I mean, maybe it's not a horrible thing if you missed it by a day. I mean, I guess yeah, you got a free game people, with it, yeah. too. So. I mean, I, my, yeah. I missed by a Which day. Is I don't good. think I got any credit, but hey, whatever. Right. Wait, yours was late a day, too? The from headset, Oculus.com. The one oh, from Best that's Buy. Right. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah, my Best right. Buy one day of that morning, true, true. but my Oculus.com order didn't show up till the next day, which I was like, man, yep. that's... that's a, which actually, that was my wife's headset. So she was like, well, that's crap. Right. You got yours already. Where's mine? I was like, yeah, sorry. Right. It's going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> that's how it goes. Don't touch mine. Well, that's why no, you got to spread it. That's why you got to get one there and one at Best Buy, yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't know what was going to happen, so it, yep. it's kind of crazy, but... Yep, uh, I know. Yeah, I don't know. So, so what were you going to say? Oh, I was just, you know, was there anything else that you played that you actually really, you know, enjoyed on the quest here? I mean, I know I did jump into some of the Beat Saber stuff. Yeah, me too. Um, And we can get into some of that too. I mean, I I honestly, so the, we played Population One for a while together. We played that for the hour play session. Then I think we jumped into Solaris for a while, which uh, that, I mean, that game looks really good too in VR. 
Link and Clay. Link and Clay, cheers. Old people do play VR. I'm 53 years old and have about seven headsets in my seven home. Seven headsets. <laughs> there you awesome. go. Yeah. yeah, that is awesome. I mean, yeah, and there look- are, but I mean, I feel like that it's fewer, right. you know, although I don't know because the VR for a while now, because it's been so expensive, has seen like a little bit of the older community that's been into it. But just the people that I saw online at Best Buy, I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah. And I was like, man, this sure. is cool. Like it just shows how much it's growing. So I think that was really cool. But but thank yeah, you. I thank think, you for uh, that super chat. Today's thumbnail is just some of my th- headsets yeah. thrown on a yeah, table. those are that. Yeah, that picture is actually Tyler's <laughs> headsets. That it's not one we found online. It's or missing that's, some, but it was just yeah. some that were sitting there. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah stack them up, pile them up. <laughs> quest, quest two on top. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> but, Kidding. So what we're but, saying, yeah. the. Uh, uh, oh, the games oh, we played. Yeah, so we played yeah, Solaris. It looked it Solaris. looked really good. I mean, Solaris yep. already looked good. It was the other things that I don't like about Solaris, but the image right. in Agreed. Solaris looks really good. When you put that helmet and stuff on, it looked even better in Quest 2. It really did. Wow. And we had fun playing it, but I still... I still hate my left hand, my off hand not being tracked. I hate I the know. I hate the I, motion. I'm used to it, man. No, getting, the motion is so bad. No, don't get used to it. It's not good. I don't like it. But and the, like I always feel like because it's all head tracked movement or whatever head based right. movement. So whenever I'm sprinting, if I even look to the side, I stop my that sprint. I stop running. It drives fixed. me crazy. It drives me crazy. I feel like I that's such a fast paced game that I'm constantly being restricted in how I move, and it's so True. difficult for me. But the game itself True. is fun. I just wish so bad. That it would fix my little nitpicks, but it's not a deal breaker though. Yeah. Um, one said, dude, wow, what a difference between OC1 right. and OC2. Oculus Quest. Um, Wait, is that oh, what he's saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oculus Quest 1, Oculus Quest 2. I yeah, think yeah. that's what he's saying. So that's what I'm assuming too. Yeah, it, it is. It's, I feel it's, it's okay. Do you think it's enough to upgrade if you've got the Quest 1 though? I mean, I mean, it's two ninety nine. I don't know. I know. Like, I feel like it's yeah. a pretty good upgrade. No, what, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it is. I mean, if I mean, you're getting a Snapdragon XR two. You're getting a lighter, right. more comfortable headset. It, it, maybe not a ton more comfortable out of the box because of that strap. But for some people, they say it's really comfortable. So I agree. I, I think I it's know. amazingly comfortable. Well, with well, the, not right, with the stock. Right. Yeah, I'm saying right. with the stock yeah. strap, some people find it still really comfortable. But I think I think for the two ninety nine price, I think. I don't know. It's a hard. It's hard not to upgrade it. It really is. I mean, the visuals are so much better. And you got to remember, right. you're you're basing this off of day one upgrade, where where the Quest True. Two We're is the limited. End of the cycle. Yeah, the right. Quest Two is limited in everything it's going to do right now. True. They're eventually going to unlock those gates, and everything's going to get better. So, yes, I think it is worth it. Honestly, I, I, I do. do. Too. I, I do. And you might as well get it now. I don't think it's going to come down in price no. much. Yeah, maybe saw, at the end of its life, two fifty. But. Yeah, I saw somebody somewhere asked about a Black Friday sale. Should I wait for Black Friday? And I don't know that it's. Nope. I think it's too early right now. I don't think they're gonna offer any discounts. Uh, it's already so cheap. I mean, the luckiest thing you might be able to do mm-hmm. is get maybe a game or two included. And I don't even know that they're going to do that. I think it's going to sell well enough that it's not going to go on sale for this Black Friday, probably next Black Friday, but not I this one. It's I too wouldn't soon. wait only because you're just missing out on the quality, on the playtime, yeah. on how virtual desktop works really well with oh, it. Man, that, the games was, look was, good. I was really impressed. So I don't even have like a crazy good router. I have, you know, I have crazy good internet. It's one gig internet, but I'm using the router sure. that comes from Comcast, the cable company. And yep. I, I haven't done a whole lot of virtual desktop streaming. I did it with the quest one some, and it was pretty good. I feel like there was a big improvement with quest two. I mean, it, it works really good. So I, I'm definitely excited about that and the potential for that. Right. And I think that that's going to be a big thing moving forward. I, I'd really do. I was, I think I would, I have a pretty good router. Um, I have one of the higher like Nighthawk ACs. Uh, I think I can push 12 or 1400 megabytes a second. And even opposite end of my house from my router, which is downstairs and it's upstairs. I do a basement. Um, I am still pushing, I think four or 500 megabytes a second to it. That's and that insane. was like, I tried pushing it the maximum distance I could almost go in my house. Yeah. Um, and it still worked perfectly, which was really good to see. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I mean, yeah, we need to mess around is. with some Wi Fi 6 routers and stuff. That, that's that's going to yep. be the next step. And yep. I think it's going to even improve it even yep. more. I but it, it's doable. Yep. I mean, it's we'll doable with, with yeah. just a decent router for sure. Honestly, I don't think you, I don't think it's necessary for everyone to run out and buy a Wi Fi 6 router, though. I mean, as long as you have a fast router, that's all that's yeah. going to matter because stuff is still limited inside, you know, virtual desktop and what the headset will pass. I wish South Cheers, Memphis, South like, Memphis. I wish it would Cheers. show, I wish it would show the little know. animation that it shows in the chat right? yeah, on here because be it's cool. like the little dude like putting his coffee cup out and that's cool, but it doesn't show I'm it sure. on the screen up here just in chat, but. I'll refill my coffee. 
Yeah, I, I just, uh, yeah, I had some this morning. I'm kind of. What are you drinking there. today, anyway? Oh yeah, I want to talk about that. So I think it was Wiki Peoples, I believe, in a comment from our last video mentioned something about this this one coffee, and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna look it up. So I looked it up, and I was like, holy crap, that sounds amazing. And I ordered some. So it is Blue Horse 100% Kona coffee, and it's on Amazon. This is where I ordered it. I think that you put the link in the description. I put it down there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so that is an, it is really good. So I I really appreciate the uh, the. Uh, shout out for that coffee because it's I did not it's not the bat dung uh coffee which is no, good not yet, to see. But that's in the, i put that in discord too i'm gonna do that next time i come back i'm gonna get some of that right. uh, oh my gosh. lincoln clay again says his ps4 Dude, yeah. is worth 400 the ps4 pro would certainly be worth 300 same thing applies with quest and quest 2 right I, I agree yeah because it's it's cost less and it's a newer generation yeah, yeah. Headset. it's true and i mean that's I would, like i would said. definitely agree yeah i mean it's it's a hundred percent worth it. I feel like for even just the upgrade path of yeah. this headset, yeah, you're because getting... we're going to see so many things coming out for this in the future. You know what I mean? We already yeah. have official stuff. We already have the deluxe audio stuff sitting here, which we're going to talk about. Yeah. And it's already a and... hundred dollars cheaper. Like how is it? it doesn't even cheaper. make sense. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's way more powerful, better screens. I mean, pretty much I think yep. everything about it, I think so far for me oh, has been the better, other cool thing know, other than maybe get... the blacks, but I don't have an issue with those to be honest. You do but... get this super cool rubber band oh, with it goodness. too, man. It's <laughs> awesome. Workout <laughs> band. You can use it. Tyler was just working out his tries right there. I was using it for a workout band. It's yeah. Amazing, Walk his man. neighbor's really dog. Is. If you didn't see that clip from yesterday, we talked about the headset and head straps. That clip cracks me up because that wasn't like planned for the dog to run away and no pull Tyler away. That, he like yeah. ran after the dog. So he didn't want to break the head strap because he literally had the head strap tied to the dog as a, uh, I, I literally thought the dog was going to take off. Cause I took it off. It's real leash. The, all, <laughs> I had it Velcroed around the collar and I'm that like, all right, so it'll funny. hold if he sits here, you know, and he saw something down the street and just bolted. And literally like right as I left scene on that, it almost drug me through the grass. And it was dying. unbelievable. When I saw that, I was cracking uh, up laughing. Yeah. I really was. was I was so just funny. impressed. It actually does work better as a leash. I will approve that right here. A lot yeah, on the show. It works. It's better it as a leash. Maybe not for like a, a huge dog or yeah. something. Maybe only little dogs, but nope. yeah. But I know, know some people do like it and I agree. It's got its purposes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can lay in bed with it. Uh, it is, I mean, I don't know. It, Maybe just that. I don't really, I can't come up with anything. I don't well, I like mean, it myself. It's not bad. But see, I go way too hard when I play. Yeah. It that moves nothing around. holds it to my head and I fear it flying off. So I'm limiting myself. Well, and for I don't me, like the, the big issue that I had with it is that it moved a lot. So if I'm moving quick, the way how far the lenses stick out in that headset, it would actually hit my nose. Like it would kind of, and that was annoying. So with the Elite strap or the Deluxe Audio strap, it doesn't move around as much when I'm moving. And it just, I just had a hard time making it very comfortable. But some people, hey, if it works for you, that's great. And it is great that it's a $299 price point. It gives you the option to upgrade if you want to. And some people just want to watch Netflix and stuff and lay in bed. And that is the best head strap to do it with. And I'm not saying I don't like that it came with it because I, I'm glad it did. Because if this headset was $50 more, we're now into that 300 realm. So yeah. I'm glad it's a great starting point because some people may want to do different stuff. Maybe you do have a deluxe audio strap sitting around yeah. and you don't want to buy a headset and get them printed. That's that's awesome. You know, and I'm glad that they're doing that. Lou Dynasty, Thank cheers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm not knocking it that bad. I, I think it's awesome. I love the ease of changing straps that's what i love uh, that's what i was gonna yeah, say because I think the old quest the old quest it wasn't hard to change but it was a lot more of a pain in the butt than it is now with trying to weave those straps back in and stuff this is simple you pop it off pop it back on so if you have the elite strap hey i want to watch a movie in bed tonight it takes two seconds to pop it off and put the original one back on so you can lay your head on a pillow or the back of a couch you know recliner whatever. So shout out to them for making this possibility. I, this I is agree. what we've been asking for, for a long time. Yep. It's some kind of modular headset that we can swap things around easy. Everybody yep. can make accessories for it easily. So there's going to be a lot of third party stuff coming out. And honestly, I think the $50 for the elite strap, the regular elite strap, I don't think that's that bad. I'm, nope. I think that's a pretty good deal for the amount of improvement it gives you. And so 50 bucks, Hey, I'm down. I, I do think for the 129 for the elite strap with battery, I would like to see them sell that separately without the case to lower the price a little bit, because right now right. the only way you can order it is the package deal. And it comes with the Oculus carrying case. And that case is okay. It's not right. I, I mean, it, is it, I, it's not anything crazy awesome to me. I have a feeling I'll um, probably be upgrading I like, that. I like the case. So I like, I, I like the case itself. It reminds me of the first gen one. The only thing I don't like is the uh, controller storage. Yeah, it doesn't I'm not seem that excited. I, I know they are because it's got baffles in it that yeah. keep it from sliding forward. 
I, I don't know. I'm just not as excited about that. I'm really not. I'm not at all. Pee Waters. Thanks Cheers. for keeping us up to date with everything in VR. We try our best. We just yep. <laughs> we just love VR. So we're just we trying do. everything. And we really like accessories too. Like I, I said something to gaming science teacher, I think it was on Twitter. And I just, I'm excited to see all the accessories that are com- going to come for this because I like, like maybe, you know, some people like I accessorizing know. their wardrobe. I just like accessorizing my VR. I know. Oh, wow, I gotta and I actually, um, I was talking with May Waters the other day and I think she said that she's getting or giving her headset to her brothers and got another one or something for the family as yeah. well. The quest to, so it's, it's awesome item. to see. I know it's awesome to yeah. see just this spread now of VR where before it was, nobody wanted to try it. They didn't get it. Now it's like somebody tries it and they want it or they want to experience that or they yeah. want to do things with them. Um, yeah. My wife was even asking about, you know, beat saber last night mm-hmm. and she's like curious about it. Like, what is it? And I want to see somebody play it. And I showed her and she's like, Oh, that's really cool. It's kind of like yeah. box VR, or, you know, fit XR. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. And she's yeah. like, Oh, that's cool. I'd try that. You know? So yeah, it is, it's really cool to see people who don't like VR. Her, yeah, they're, you know, everybody's getting interested well. in it now. So right. Shout yep. out to everybody in the chat real quick. There's a ton of people in here. I agree. Uh, gaming science teacher said Quest One Strap wasn't meant to be changed. These ones are. Big difference. I totally agree. It's uh, huge. Chad yep. Baca said the strap should have been black. That soft strap in white is going to get dirty. That is one problem. <laughs> right? It, it means you're sweating in know, VR. Man. That thing's going to get nasty. I'm not sure why it they is. chose the white. I, I totally agree with that. I don't know. I like the color. I really do. I don't do. mind the color. Do I, I just don't want it's... it to look nasty. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Know. I don't want it to get nasty. Or done so. a two-tone maybe and done a dark gray strap with it or something and a light yeah, gray something. headset. Or I know. I agree. Yeah, but me water hey, whatever said, that uh, can't figure out how to fit the controllers in the case i had that issue too i, I actually had to look at the box to see exactly how they had them yeah. uh oriented in there to try to get them right and it just feels weird to me uh, i don't know so here here's my problem the old one i always had uh my mamut grips mm-hmm. on they fit perfectly in the old one still no issues fit like a glove right yeah so th- these ones which these are the dx's actually I cannot figure out how to get them to fit in there with them. And that's what's driving me nuts. Mm-hmm. John, cheers for seven. Yeah, thank you. Um, it, it just, I keep them on here at all times and I don't want to have to take them off. And yep. if I take them somewhere, I don't want to have to leave them behind. Yep. So I don't know. Just the way it's designed, I'm not. I actually don't have those DX grips. I got to order those. I have the old oh, Mamut ones. Dude, <laughs> Tyler loves they're them. so I good. These are my favorite things in the world. Yeah. They literally don't go anywhere. So I've actually, I have the, the OG Mamut ones. And the uh, DXs as well, because I can mount these to my Apto gunstock. And the thumb placement is totally different. So I will recommend if you have smaller hands, the DX work almost perfectly. The elastic band's a little short. It still works. So if you have one laying around, you could use one from like a cable tie. Um, But the OG ones actually have your thumb placement way different. So if you have bigger hands... You could definitely pick up the OG Mamut grips. Okay. So the DX uh, ones really are better helped. for smaller hands, you're saying? The, uh, the ones you have on now. No, bigger hands. So the DX the ones are good for Yeah, there we go. Hands. I think I said that backwards. The older yeah. ones are good for smaller yep. hands. Okay, I because I have large hands. I have yeah. big fingers and big hands. So these work perfect. So the OG ones, it, they move up a little bit. So my thumb placement was way different. So if okay. you have smaller hands, go with the OG so ones. So yeah. the reason I want to clarify that is because my wife yep. has smaller hands and she doesn't like the new controllers that much because they just feel much bigger. I think she might get used to them, but I'm going to put the old uh, Mamut grips on hers and see how that does for her. I do wish that, yep. uh, thank you for that sub. I, I do wish that you could use the old uh uh, Quest controllers, the original Quest 1 controllers with Quest 2 if you wanted to. I wish, I mean, I don't know why you couldn't pair them. It's the same uh, tracking technology I mean, technology you don't need to. Stuff. They don't sell them separate though. I know, but, but it I mean, would be nice for them. people that already had them. Like my wife, I think she would prefer to use the Quest 1. True. So I wish they would make that True. an option. I don't think they're going to because, you know, they, they didn't with the they old uh, Rift S and external tracking IR cameras. Placement. The rings are actually <laughs> tilted at different angles yeah. on these. I still think so, it would have to be possible if they wanted to I mean, do it, I but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think sure. it's going to happen. But, sure, uh, it would be. Yeah. They can do a lot of things probably, but you know, we're always into the different stuff too. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people said that the um, they could not get their Xbox controller to work with it. Have you heard much about this? Yeah, I know a so lot of people I guess there's a lot going around too. on the Oculus forums and stuff as well that they're, they're not able to pair it with it or it – shows up but the controller doesn't connect or something so yeah. which is too bad i, I feel like a that widespread issue tested, that hopefully yeah. they're going to be getting fixed so uh yep. let's get off quest 2 here for a little bit and we're going to get back onto it with sure, some sure. accessory yep. stuff uh, but, yeah, I got uh, some. let's talk about beat saber multiplayer a little bit i a lot of people have been playing this uh it's not playing 
Oh, That's dude, it's it is good. I I think it's awesome what they're that they release this and that they have it up for the uh, release of the Quest Two as well. But I, it plays awesome. Every time I hear a song that's in here, I want to get into it and play it. Yeah, um, it, it is pretty cool. I, I think uh, I maybe had a little bit too high hopes of what Beat Saber multiplayer sure. was going to be. But right. uh, I played it with my wife and we went in there. And it's actually pretty cool because if you do two player uh, multiplayer and Beat Saber, you actually see the other person's blocks. They kind of go, you know, yours is going coming at you this way. Theirs is coming right. at them this way. That was kind of cool because when you have more people in there, it kind of spreads the people out a little bit more and stuff. But it, it is cool because I think anytime you can add that competition aspect of, you know, oh, yeah. I want to beat this person, that, that keeps you wanting to play because it keeps you wanting to get better. And I'm not that good at Beat always. Saber. I'm really not. I, I always I, go to the leaderboards and try and beat you or well, Game Design Teacher, Game which will never hard. happen. Yeah, right? yeah. I, but this <laughs> might motivate me to play it more because by myself, right. you know, I thought it was cool. When this first came out, I played it quite a bit. And then, you know, I never, I was never one of the people that played Beat Saber all the time. It just wasn't the game that I went to all the time, but it's fun. I mean, when you go in there, it's a, there's a powerful thing about Beat Saber. And anytime you add multiplayer in VR or co-op or anything like that, I think it makes it better. And it, it has more of a draw for me personally. Uh, yeah. I would like to see some more game modes. I think they could do some cool stuff with like a co-op back and forth kind of a thing. I think there's some more that they could do, but I think this is a good start. And I think yeah. it's cool. And they got some funny looking little avatars you can make and all, all It'd that be cool stuff, if but... you could almost have like teamwork kind of like if you were side by side with one track, you know, and each of you had one, you right. know, sword or controller or saber, whatever you want to call it. And uh, had to work together would be, I mean, there's interesting things that they could do given they'd have to remake all the maps probably. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things I think they could do. Like we've talked about with uh, pistol whip and, but you know, it's kind of endless what, you know, VR can lead to and they can do, but yeah, right. I don't think we're going to see it. Um, but I think it's cool. I mean, I'm into it. Um, did you get to play a lot of it? Uh, I haven't played a ton of it yet. I've mainly just played it with my wife. Uh, sure. One of the things for me is I'm not that good at it. You know what I mean? So to go in with people that are way better on a harder oh, right, skill right. level is going to be hard. So me and my wife, neither one of True. us play a ton. So we're kind of at the same level. Uh, we played some hard levels and, you know, she beat me a couple times. I was able to beat her sometimes. So uh, she enjoys things a lot better when she can beat me. So it's good to play things that, right. uh, <laughs> that, she has the advantage that I'm not that. crazy good at. Yeah. So that, so that was kind of fun. Don't scare her out of it. Yeah. I did have there it is so this is our footage it wouldn't play before hopefully the uh, sound isn't blasting out or anything i had to add it back in for some reason it wouldn't play so this was just the two-player multiplayer and it's kind of cool mm -hmm. because you can see the other person's blocks and it you know shows your score and who's in first and right. second down there and you can see like she's kicking my butt for a little while and this song was on hard so it it got to where it got a little overwhelming for her but it, it was fun and uh, one of the things we were talking about, what were we talking about this morning about Beat Saber multiplayer? Uh, we were talking about how you can't do custom songs uh, in oh, there. Oh, the uh, yeah. environments, yeah. like for the custom, sh the uh, tracks for like Linkin, Linkin Park, Park or yeah, whoever, like that. they aren't in there, uh, which I get. I understand that. I mean, I they're they probably made for one person. I, hope I know. I because think, I like some I of those environments, sure. like especially the so Linkin Park environments. It feels really cool to be in that space, you know, so uh, I do I hope that they add that. But. I know. And I think it's cool, though. You do have to own it to both. I, I kind of like the idea you have to own the track to play it only because, you know, it leads to you wanting other songs. Like if all your friends are playing it, then you do have to buy it. Yeah. I mean, and it's good I know for the it's, developer. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. good. It's good for the developer. It's good for longevity for the game. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I don't know. Does it suck sometimes? Yeah, sure. But I guess you got to stick to the core games if that's the case, if you don't have any. Yeah. But, and you can't but yeah. do any uh, custom maps. There's no custom right. maps in multiplayer. Right. Uh, nope. Yeah. So, and like you said, you both have to have the DLC. So mainly what we did, because she actually has a lot more uh, DLCs on hers. And one of my problems is that I only own Beat Saber on the PC VR, on the Oculus Store. I don't own it on the Quest. She owns it on the oh. Quest. So anytime that I've wanted to play on the Quest, oh. uh, I've played on hers. She has a lot of the music packs, which I didn't buy because I could just grab hers and play those music packs. Like in the Linkin Park, I wanted to right, try that, right, right. but I didn't want to buy it twice. So <sighs> it was nice in that aspect. But now, see, now they have us where we they're going to sell more of that stuff because for us, you know, to household you know, I'm going to want to buy that stuff too so sure. that we can play together. So it is, I mean, for the their thing part, that it's good. frustrates but. me though is the cross-buy thing, man. Give us cross-buy. If I'm sticking with the Oculus store, yeah. if, you know, you're going to phase out a Rift S and I have to buy, you know, a Quest 2 or something yeah. to get something better, it Give needs to have cross-buy. I agree. A hundred percent. I don't, 
I'm not a big fan of the no cross buy for that reason alone. And I mean, some people um, only have a Quest 2, right? And they want to experience PC VR. So they're right? still playing on the same headset, on the same store, basically, but they have to yep. buy it again on the PC to play that version, which I understand. Not everything. And, not no, everything. Not everything. But, but if it doesn't have cross buy right. and stuff. And I, the problem right. is, is that, you know, you're on the same platform, but, you know, there are costs in making it for two different platforms, you know, PC VR and Quest 2. So I kind of get both sides. But I just think cross buy is such a great thing to be able to implement. I, really I agree. I, I, I know. appreciate cross buy when they do it. I know. I know. So. And we're going to see that now, too, in Population One, which is yeah. awesome because we were crying about that ourselves. That's the one thing because I enjoy playing it on different console, you know, yeah. on PC, on Quest for different reasons. Yeah. Um, if I want to pick it up quick in my living room upstairs or I want to come down and play it on my VR PC. So, yeah. Uh, it was a little frustrating to think that now I'm going to have to buy it twice. Yeah. So that pisses me if off. If you don't know, you know what we're but... talking about, they originally, we talked to the developers. And so some people said that we were wrong, that it is going to be cross by. Originally, the developers oh, we said it, it's not cross by. You're going to have to buy it for what platform you, you to play it on. That was their original thought. So that's what, you know, that's what we told everybody because that's what it was going to be. Well, this past week, just the other day, yesterday or the day before, they announced that they changed their mind. And for Oculus Store, it is going to be cross by between uh, Rift and Quest. So I think probably due to the amount of people that were like what like how is this not cross by and stuff you know and, yeah. and some people being upset about the price of the game anyways they decided you know we're going to go ahead and make this cross by for the oculus platform which i think is a great thing i really do i, I think it yep. is a fantastic thing because a lot of people are going to eventually upgrade a pc and want to play this on pc vr as well so i think it's Absolutely. good to just have the option for cross by to be able to do both why not you know yeah that's the next step for everybody is they want to dabble or start trying or see if their yeah. pc now can run any uh pc vr and I totally get that. I have, you know, a friend who was asking about the quest and, you know, do I have to have a PC or, you know, can I, and you don't have to. And that's the best yeah. part is it's a great entry point. Especially with and quest then too. I mean, can... you're, you're getting some good, good content on the quest too, without a PC. You really are. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And yeah. so uh, Doug Black, like, kind of like you said, he said with phasing out the Rift S, everything should be cross by. And I agree yeah. because it's all that's basically yeah. one headset now. It's all one platform going forward. You know, it's, it's still going to be a PC VR store and a quest store, but it's the same headset eventually. Right. So yep. I know, yeah. but if you're phasing it out and not going to have a second gen one, don't make me pay for it. There's yeah. no way that that does not work. That does not fly yeah, my book. I, I mean, if I buy the next gen Xbox, I can still go back and download the games that I've already downloaded before. They're not going to say, no, you right. can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, talking about that, Population that One, this this is coming out next week. So it's oh. the 17th, I believe, what is it? It's the 22nd that it launches. So uh, the problem that we've had is that play tests are only an hour long. And every time we play this, we're like, oh, it's over already. Like when we end one, we're trying to, as fast as we can, get into the next one before the play <laughs> test the is over one, so we can finish that last uh, game. It, an hour goes by so fast in this game. Oh, gosh, and I, I am, I think there's, I've already seen a lot of comments that people saying, I'm going to pick this game up now because they announced Cross Buy. So I think sure. it is. It's a great thing. I think more people are going to be playing it now. It's a really fun game. I mean, yes, it's not the most graphically intense game ever because hands down okay. it was built for the Quest. You know what I mean? It was built yep. with Quest in mind after the Quest sure original one got announced. So the graphics aren't anything crazy, but it still looks good. And I mean, it's still it's just a ton of fun. So we had some questions too. Would you pick this up on PC or on Quest? Because, I mean, there is no graphical difference really between the two. So you know, yeah, you're only I, talking performance. My only thing is I like the freedom of the quest, right? So it gives you the no wires. You are strapped into your battery. So whatever you're using, you can plug it in, obviously, right. while you're playing. But then that defeats the purpose. The only benefit of going to a PC is if you do want to stream it. And I feel like this great game is amazing to show off streaming. It's so yeah. much fun. Um, it's so interactive with what you're doing in your teamwork. I feel like it's a no brainer. Yeah. So we did I a guess stream last purpose. week of this and it was a lot of fun and it was fun. <laughs> it yeah. was fun. So we're going to do that again. I, I think we'll definitely we probably try will to on do release that again. day or something yeah, and, or and maybe we'll probably, day before release. We'll probably do some like streams with the quest Two, actually playing on the quest Two. It's a little bit more difficult, but it we'll is, probably but yeah. do that. I mean, it plays great on the quest. It yep. really does. And there's not, you're really not yeah, getting yeah. much benefit playing on PC VR. So to me, no, no, but it's, oh, it's so good on either. Henry cheers. Yeah, cheers. But it, it's uh, yeah. It is I do amazing. hope cheers that to they, everybody in chat too. Flex I do hope that. Up. I do hope that they eventually add uh, 
make it better on quest two you know what i mean go in and add uh just make you know update it for quest two sure. like other games we've seen and the interesting thing i, I do kind of want to get into this a little bit is uh rec room on quest two so rec room mm-hmm. now they you know it's optimizing for quest two and they're having uh which one is it so battle royale and island of lost skulls is heading to the quest two the interesting yep. part as far as i understand this is those are only coming to the quest two those things aren't coming to the right. quest one at least not at this well, point sure. so well, this, we've already seen that though that limitation with the original quest no i know but this is the first time that we've seen something come to the quest two that isn't coming to the quest one i think this is the first thing so how much of that i thought that oculus wasn't going to allow that for a while out that's what i thought but we're already starting to see this so how much is this about to happen even more yeah that games come out for quest two not for quest one sure i think it'll be games that are developed from here on out we're going to see a lot of that i mean people that developers that don't want to be restricted by the old one and are just going to max out the quest two because yeah. who doesn't want their game to look better play I want better to. i want them yeah, i want them to be able to do that because i want to be able to see the power of the quest two but yeah. i was worried that oculus was was not going to let them do that and but i'm okay we'll with see. it too though like people i know people are gonna get pissed right with the old one but that's the reason to upgrade to a new one right i mean that is why you upgrade to get yeah. the newer better games yeah. and stuff Drew German Rifter, Rifter cheers, again. Man. <laughs> Thank Jeez, you. you guys well, are amazing. I know, yeah. seriously, you are. We'll be interesting to see how Oculus handles cross by in the future, since uh, there will also be Quest Two exclusives, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's kind of what we're talking about here: is yep. some Quest Two exclusive stuff. And and I do feel bad for people that aren't upgrading, but I want to see the power of the Quest Two. You know, I want sure. them to make Quest Two exclusive games that are gonna look a lot better. So it's a yep. weird. I just think it's a weird thing right now because the the Quest One isn't that old to where they right. start. I know. It out, but, I agree. Right. But Oculus, at the same time, I feel like they like to play it safe, and then at sometimes I feel like they just say, "I don't care. We're doing what we want." You know, we're gonna phase out the the Rift S. You know, so right. I could see right. them possibly just phasing out uh, the Quest One and not supporting it anymore sooner than maybe what I thought. I mean, they did it with the Go, but the Go was around for a while. They phased that out. Yeah. And for Quest Two now, they're saying that it's not going to be compatible with Go games. So on the Quest One, there was like 66 games that were Go games that you could play on your Quest Two or on your right. Quest One. Quest yep. Two, that's not going to be the case. So right. Interesting to see some of the ways, yeah. some of the things they're doing. To be honest, I understand it though. I yeah. mean, it's evolution of technology. I mean, that's how it goes. I mean, I that's agree. when you buy into new technology, it's kind of expected. I mean, you don't want it, but it's going to happen at some point or another. Yeah. Does that happen sooner? Yeah, because technology is moving quick and you're getting the newest stuff coming out in VR. I so I think it's awesome, but it is frustrating at times because you invest in yeah. an ecosystem and now it's basically out the door. But right. do you I want know. do you want five grand, maybe 10 grand, maybe more? for jailbreaking yeah i mean i'm in for jailbreaking man heck yeah yeah. this is awesome so this was around so i think robert long was the official one i think this was for the quest one originally and now he's saying you know we're moving this on to quest two so basically he is offering five thousand dollars for somebody that can jailbreak the quest two jailbreaking you know making it so you don't have to have a facebook account you don't have to go through any of that you can put on different software you know the whole thing you can just like you do on an Android device on a phone an iPhone, you know, whatever, you know, you jailbreak all that kind of stuff. So Palmer came in Palmer lucky, uh, the original, uh, creator of Oculus. He said he will match this and who else is in. So at least right now it's up to five grand and I'm sure it's going to get even higher, which would you jailbreak your quest to if, if somebody found a way to do it? I mean, we're up to 10 grand at this point. So I mean, that's starting to get up into some serious cash. Yeah, you know what so I mean? I think some people are um, going to start looking into doing this and start playing. Would around, I, I jailbreak it? You know, that's a, for me, I would not jailbreak my quest Two. Would I, my original one, 100%. See, um, I would just buy another quest Two, have one not jailbroken and one jailbroken. As long as you don't link it to the original Facebook or Oculus account from the first one, they should, you should be all right. Right. Yeah, but I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about them catching it. It's more the fact of bricking it because you do run a risk of, you know, something happening and it bricking it. I- I've jailbroken stuff in the past. Yeah. Um, I'm not afraid to jailbreak anything Apple because I don't really like don't their whole ecosystem. <laughs> right, exactly. You don't care so, if you I, like old iPads and stuff like that, I think are great too, uh, especially for like home automation stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, I wouldn't do it on something though that's like, one of my daily drivers because yeah. I don't want to risk it. You know what I mean? That's why uh, I would buy that, I'm all in though. I, I yeah, would buy another I one. That. I'd buy a 64 but just to I do that. I don't think there's or, that much like of a benefit. Said, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. or like you said with the first quest. So I mean, we have side loading now. You know, side yeah. we have side quests. So it's not like we can't get stuff from the outside world onto the headset. So I don't know for me if it would be worth risking it. Yeah, it's up to fifteen grand. To uh, PD said it's up to fifteen thousand dollars now for jailbreaking. Oh, wow. The nice thing is though for this is that there are people. We have seen people now that have bought a quest too. And it's unusable because their Facebook account didn't go through or they tried to make, you know, another right, one. Right. Or, and that's the point where I understand. Yeah, it. yeah. So that, that is a problem. I mean, it is a problem with the quest too. Like some, I mean, it's super disappointing for somebody that doesn't want a Facebook account or doesn't have one, tries to make one, you know, even if it is somewhat legitimate and still has an right. issue. And then the Oculus is basically saying, well, you can return your quest too. Well, that's a crappy right. option. <laughs> like that, that that's right. not an option. You need to have another option for these people. I, I it is, that is a difficult well, subject. I don't I think. think we're going to see one because that's why we have this low entry point of this headset. Um, I, that's part of it. You know what I mean? Is they want to know what you're doing and the tracking, which I know still frustrates a lot of people given we know that's what it is. I mean, that's yeah. part of buying into it. And I guess yeah. the people that don't agree with it, have to go to like PC VR or a Pico Neo or which, but all that stuff is still tracked nonetheless. I mean, yeah. it's I mean, the problem is it's everywhere. Micro, Google does it. You know, if right. you're on the internet, you've been tracked. I mean, that's, you know, it, sure. it's a widespread problem. It's not only Facebook, right. but I mean, it if does. If you're stink. watching this video, you are tracked in some shape or form. Probably, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it just thinks though know. for the people that got this quest too. And then they're like, crap, we can't use this. So for a jailbroken method, you know, I think that it would be a good right. thing for, I agree. I agree on that end. Yeah. yeah. Then it, it would work. And no, there is no official jailbreak yet for it. Not that I but know, at this no. point with the type of publicity it's getting, um, Palmer lucky backing it, I think it's coming. I think somebody's going to do it because these headsets are in so many hands now. I mean, we're seeing people, streaming and talking about it and reviewing it that have nothing to do with VR that are now finally jumping on this bandwagon with us. And I I think it's awesome. Yeah. And I think think somebody will do it. I think for most people, like a lot of people that use Facebook all the time, they don't even think about it being an issue. Like my, I said, my sister got a quest Two and stuff for their family and she just linked it to her Facebook account. And, you know, for her, it was no big deal because she uses Facebook. So, you know, but it does worry me a little bit because I'm not a Facebook user and I don't even have, but I've had my account for a long time and I've used it a lot for like Facebook marketplace and stuff like that. Even though I don't have an actual picture of myself and stuff on there, I may have to add that I'm scared to mess with it because I don't want to do anything. And then all of a sudden they, something happened and they block it because it has happened to people. And I'm a little bit nervous for that. I don't, I don't love that requirement. It stinks, but that for me, I'm so addicted to VR, you know, I got to have the quest too. I'm, I'm excited about the quest too. So the pros are bigger than the cons for me, I guess. I mean, it's, I don't know. It is again, yeah. it's the world we live in. I mean, we go places and there's cameras everywhere and you're tracked and I mean, it's, it's inevitable, but yeah, to me, I wish yeah. that the, you know, I had this uh, private talk with uh, Sebastian from MRTV about it. And I said that I really wish we could get into a little bit of the political stuff and get some government, at least national policy or restrictions on this stuff ahead of it. You know, because all these political people, they don't know where it's at and going right now. Well, a lot they of hear don't a little bit of it. Technology they don't. exactly anyways. And even right. like Germany, you know, they banned them in Germany. And I think other countries, I've, I think I saw something about Russia now. I'm not sure where all, but a uh, German rifter said, friend of mine got quest to Facebook account got banned because of no activity. Neither Facebook nor Oculus has helped till this to this day. And I think a lot of it, they just say, return it. And that just right. sucks. Like that's I not know. a good solution. That's not a solution right. at all. So I don't no. know. They, something. I think something's going to end up changing, like you said, policy wise or something. I don't know, and, but. And there were some things. I'm trying to think where it was. Um, was it in the UK where <laughs> it was starting to get or what was it? Because they were doing a forced login. Yeah, it was Germany. With some, wasn't it? It was yeah. a Germany. Is yeah. that is that the reason why they banned it though? I thought it was yeah. a little more widespread. Because you than were that. It was just you were Germany forcing a right user a to login. sign up for a different like right. service platform. thing to be able to use this platform, which is it's and weird, I, but they have different laws. I agree with that though, man. Yeah. I, that's how it should be. How, there needs to be, be more widespread well. some kind of right. solution to this. I I think. Yep. Uh, Marcus yeah. Valles, I laugh because he says it went from VR is dead to but Facebook. <laughs> so so right, there is right, still, right. you know, there's always still something negative to say, but I mean, I don't know. I'm loving the sure. quest too. It's hard to, it's hard to be what, too upset. Okay, but... What's your biggest negative about it? I'm really curious to hear what your negative is. What's your biggest negative? Uh, IPD slider. Sure. I agree. That's, that's, that's my probably, 
I, you know, it doesn't bother me, but it bothers me for everybody else because I, I hear it, yeah. you know, from and, people and friends and communities. And so. come to find out what we originally talked about before we had the Quest 2, there was an article bashing the Quest 2. And they said with the IPD that you could actually move those lenses a little bit in between the settings. And a lot of people were saying, you know, that's not true. It doesn't work or something. And, but it does. It does work. So it's been verified now. And I've tried it myself. And so if you're in between settings on the Quest 2 IPD slider, what you can do is you can barely move it just a little bit. Be careful because you don't want to click it into the next thing, but you can actually yep. move the lenses a little bit and it does help. You can fine tune it a little bit. And I haven't got to play enough crazy VR yet with that setting uh, to see if it moves at all, but it seems to stay where I set it to. And that does help uh, if you're getting some blurry stuff, if your IPD right. isn't exactly right, you can fine tune it a little bit. We've talked about it on the Discord with some other people, uh, people 3D printing some stuff. So there's probably going to be spacers that are going to be set for certain IPDs. Like I saw one that somebody needed it wider. So they actually put it in between the two lenses and it pushed them Correct. out a little bit past to keep it there. And, and yep. that's a good and, idea. And we, I brought that up. This is before we even had our quest right. to, yeah, you know, and I saying. forget if it was Sebastian or Tyreel who we were talking with. And I kind of brought that up. Like, why couldn't we print a little like glasses frame you set in there yeah. that kept it, you know, from right. left and right and in the center. Yeah. And I feel like it could, and I mean, micro adjustments, but here's the thing. Why can't Oculus release a software update that does that in software, just pulls the screens in just a little bit of adjustment, you know, plus or minus even on them, you yeah. know, anything to help. But I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the one, two, three adjustment. Yeah, I mean, at least give us five, man. Yeah, at uh, least, seriously, seriously. I don't. I yeah. don't understand it. I, I honestly really didn't think it was going to be a problem for me because I was like, oh, I should fall within those ranges, you know, so I wasn't too worried about it before I got it. Uh, getting it, I was like, man, this stinks. And I've had a lot of people, even uh, some people at work that have never tried VR right. before they got VR. They're like, yeah, I'm liking it, but I just can't seem to get it to not be blurry. Like they, cause right. their IPD isn't right exactly either. So trying to help them out and stuff. The other but, thing too, is I think a lot of these new people don't realize the vertical movement yeah, that's a on big it as one. well. The sweet makes spot a big difference. seems to be, I, I have, I mean, I don't a know. It, yeah. I, I don't know if that's yeah. true, but to me, it seems like compared to Rift S in the first quest that the sweet spot does seem to be a little bit smaller and I'm not sure, I don't know why that would be because it's supposed to be the same lenses, but I notice, I mean, just a little bit of movement up and down. I, it's like clear to blurry, you know, just a little bit. So yeah, it does seem to right. almost be a little bit smaller, but I don't know if that's true. Um, so. You say next in chat, cheers, by the way, good seeing you, said, uh, I use IPD between two and three, a bit closer to two. My IPD is between 64 and 65, and it works basically yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I need to try that because... I think the middle is 63 and I'm technically like 64 and a half or something like that or yeah. 64 right in there. So I should try and bump it a little bit just to see, yeah. but yeah, I we mean, need, it's, we need to get to a day, honestly, that IPD is a lot more adjustable because even settings between two that move, well, it needs to be per eye because not everybody's IPD is always even perfectly anything. You know what I mean? So, so you should be able to adjust each eye until each eye is in focus. And hopefully okay. that comes to a day. I've, we get I've that. got the solution to all this. There go. is no more IPD. When we finally have eye tracking and they know our IPD compared to their perfectly. cameras and it will be automatically adjusted yeah. no matter who puts that headset on. Yeah. That's what we need. But that's, will my, it happen? But my one of my biggest gripes with oculus is that they don't put enough emphasis on how important ipd is and how Comfort, important man. audio is yeah. those two things in vr are very important and for whatever reason yep. after cv1 that became to be to them not important anymore you know cv1 know. had a slider for ipd and yep, had great over ear audio headphones and after Amazing. that they ditched them they they did the built-in strap which is fine i mean that's fine but give us some official you know why not do an official elite Elite strap audio strap, you know, deluxe audio elite strap, you know, why not give right. us something like that? It just seems like audio isn't as important to them as it is to everybody else that plays VR. I, I know. know. I mean, it's your, it's all your basic stuff, all your senses, right? <laughs> your, your sight, your sound, Chat your touch, awesome. all those are the biggest things in VR. So don't mess with my vision. Yeah. Don't mess with my audio and give me good hand controls that I'm feeling and feedback and I'm good, man. Yeah. Like everything else is technology catching up. But right. in between that, that's what the design should go around. Yep. Drives me nuts. Yep. The IPD of 93 and a half. Is that what you're laughing at? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what? Yeah, because I, I was questioning. I was like, hey. is that even possible? That dude has a massive head. But I think he said he's just kidding. Uh, the Pimax lenses might actually tailor to that. <laughs> yeah, because maybe. Those, those things are, are super wide, but yeah. not the sweet yeah. spot would be. But yeah, do, you think, do you think we'll get a Quest Pro? A Quest no, 2 Pro? I don't. 
No, I don't. I think we might. I don't, man. I don't only because they want mass market. Yeah, they I do. It I will don't think it's big the... enough yet. Eventually, next gen, we might actually. We might see, you know, a basic or a light and a pro. Sure, but yeah. not on this one. I don't know. I, I kind of think maybe next year, holiday season, we might see it. And let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments and in the, yeah, yeah. In the I, chat. I, I, I think, think honestly, I this mean, is my thought. So this is my thought. I think we might get a Quest 2 Pro that has color pass-through cameras because I think they want to push the same. AR farther. So I think that I could think. be a possibility. Uh, I, I think maybe some better audio, maybe bigger lenses, maybe I don't know what all for sure. And let me know what you guys think. So I'm sure you guys, you guys always have good. A little higher field of view, maybe. Yeah. You know, stuff like, like I that. don't know. Yeah, I think I it could it. happen. I, I do think that it could happen, but right? I don't, I don't I know. I get it. So the other one said, yes, uh, yeah. you are right about the sweet spot. Thank you for that super chat. So I'm not the only one. So we're not the only ones that think the sweet spot is, seems to be a little bit smaller on that. And I'm not sure why, but cause as far as I knew, it was supposed to be the same lenses. I don't know. But, I don't know. I know. Yeah, so, I don't know. And maybe they thought the one, two, three who had enough, like, you know, coverage of sweet spot that it would go between the two settings, you know, like they overlapped right in the middle. But, and I think I had that discussion with, uh, I can't remember. risky business VR Mang. Yeah. I still think VR Mang. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, that maybe they were they thought they overlapped enough, but I don't think yeah. they do, man. I so, mean, everyone's vision is. So Maddie Matt said comfort is number one most important. IPD doesn't bother me much at all, but IPD sure. falls into the comfort category though. Like I, honestly, so th so for me, right. I played Quest Two all day on launch day, right? And I oh, had it I in see. number two. I had it in number two setting, and in the next day, my eyes hurt. That evening and the next day when I woke up, my eyes hurt hurt because I probably played way too long, way too much, but it was because the IPD wasn't perfect for me and my eyes hurt. Like I had physical eye strain from that. So for right, me, right, right. IPD is a big comfort issue too. And I, comfort as a whole is a huge issue. That's one of the most important things in VR. You know, if it's not comfortable, you're not going to stay in, you're not going to keep playing. Sure. You're not going to come back. So that it yep. is, it is super important, but I know, I know. Yeah. And we do need to probably see, do we have anything? Yeah, we got so we much stuff. Some, I know so we, we were, I want to get into out. the cyber shoes real quick. So, sure, go ahead. so they're yeah. doing a Kickstarter for cyber shoes to work with the quest Two. previously mm -hmm. cyber shoes only worked with PC VR. So this is going to be an add on device to the quest Two to allow it to work. And what cyber shoes are is, as you can see in the video, you basically sit and they have rollers on your feet and it, it kind of mimics walking. Uh, it gives you a little bit more exercise, maybe a little bit more immersion. I personally have never tried these. So clear and upfront about that. I've never tried these and I have heard both sides of the story. I've heard people that love these things and I've heard people that have tried these and say they're absolute crap. So right. I don't know. Neither one of us have ever tried these. Let us know if you've tried them and what your thoughts are on them. They, they're not something that ever really super interested me, but right. I don't know. The only thing I would, I could see them is if you're in, you know, some type of development or office setting where you don't have the, the room to move around or small apartment, you know what I mean? Where you can't get up and walk. I have, I'm fortunate enough to have a large play space, probably yeah, at too. least 10 by 10. So I can actually physically walk around in my space almost without thinking about it. Um, no, I can't walk endlessly, obviously. I mean, right. I could, I'd walk into something, but um, that just, you know, it doesn't bother me as much because I move a lot in my space as it is. So I don't know. Would it would it work for me? No, probably not. But yeah. if for you're people sitting with really small, like desk, you said, sure. people really small play spaces, you know, because I've seen, right. we've all seen the pictures on Reddit and stuff, you know, here's my room. Do I have enough room to play VR, you know? And it can be hard because you do move, even without thinking you're moving around a lot, you do move around a lot. So the best thing, you, you know, is sure. a small carpet that you feel under your feet. That's what I always use, you know, yep. if I don't want to move we've around too probably. much. Yep. Yeah, that that's a great way. But this could be something good for uh, small play spaces. If you want to get a little bit more exercise, burn a little bit more calories. Like I said, I don't know because I haven't tried it myself. And I've heard some people love these things and I've heard some people hate them. So yeah. I, I don't yep. know. But the Kickstarter is coming soon. I don't think it's ready yet, but. Yeah, I don't know. Just not my style, but yeah. I mean, oh, I just looked at the uh, viewers. Cheers, guys. Man, you guys are awesome. Yeah, I love this um, community. Such a great. Community. I know. I really do. I'm looking at like everybody in here who's been. I'm gonna like capture this moment and everybody who's in our community right now because I think I need to go and consider everybody OG VR enthusiasts at this point. Yeah. And I know we have some new people in here, but we do actually have an OG section in our Discord too. Yeah, we've had people that have been really around good. a long time. Awesome I know. people. Such a good community. If you're I, just getting into the VR community, we can't stress this enough how awesome of a community this really is yep, it, it's yep, a great community so many people are willing to help out so cool. it's just it's awesome and it making really new is. friends man that's the thing like i have become friends with all these people you yeah. know from and i what who um uh, maywaters i sent 
her a pair of the prints and she's like well should i pay you for yeah and i'm like because she was like i wish i had a strap i had the deluxe audio and i'm like i'll send them to you like it it just helps in the community like i don't care don't you're not buying them i'll send them to you it's awesome you know what i mean yeah Yeah, exactly so which we need to get into some of that do you have anything else before we dive into some of those things the accessories it was great. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I was just looking. The only other thing I wanted to mention is how SideQuest basically got broken this past week because of how many oh, new right. people getting into right. VR signed up for SideQuest, which I thought was pretty cool. Well, uh, they said for uh, six times the traffic, right, yeah. was SideQuest. Uh, Pistol Whip said 10 times yeah. the traffic. It's blown like, up. I mean, oh, it's, dude, it's, it's so blown up. It really is blown up. Uh, uh, no. Also, FitXR is uh, doing an update for dance routines. So they have oh, dance yeah, yeah. workouts in FitXR. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I might try it out. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yep. But uh, Taco Galactic, I think it is in the Discord. He, he's got some dance moves. He put a video <laughs> in, of him playing uh, Synth Riders, I think, in Boogie. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That was so, awesome. Super really. cool. But I think this is neat. I mean, workout, and who would have known that working out in VR was going to be such a big thing? And it, it really True. is catching on. So many people have lost a ton of weight, got in great shape from VR. It's just a fantastic way to play video games. You're not sitting on the couch. You get up. I like it just because, yeah, and you can fit it in whenever you have time to. Like, you don't have to go to the gym. If you have an extra 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you get home uh, before you do something, before you eat at night, whenever, mornings, jump in. Time passes so fast in VR, so your workout, it doesn't even seem like you're working out. You can do a 30-minute workout. seems like five minutes. You had a ton of fun doing it. That's why I love this freaking headset, man. Yeah. Like, I literally was, you know, heard a song. I heard the uh, virtual self song on Beat Saber, and all I could think of was, I need to go in and play this because I do listen to that kind of music and I heard it and I'm like, all I could think of was I need to play. I need to play. Yeah. And it's so nice to be able to grab it, jump in for a quick session. Quest is great that. for that. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there's not uh, that limitation so of starting good, up your PC, plugging it in, getting the programs yep. open, you pop it on, you're good to go. It really is great. Uh, and yep. I, I did want to, I just took a drink and I realized I had my uh, VR round table cup. So oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Reckoner VR on last week's uh, tested podcast did the opening music, oh, yeah. which was awesome. Yeah. He did an excellent right. job. So I just wanted to shout that out. If you haven't heard it, go listen to right. it. He did really so yeah, many yeah. talents. I got his book sitting over there. He writes music. I mean, man, just awesome guy. So uh, it's know. so cool. But I okay. love our new song too, man. Oh, I do. You yeah, know, I have song? been putting that song on the podcast. So if you're listening oh, yeah. uh, as well, I have been putting the full song at the beginning. So I'd love to know if anybody likes the full song or half the I song. Love the or song. Which it gets stuck in yeah, my I head. Do too. It's, Me it's too. such a perfect fit for this. So uh, let, let's get into some of the quest accessories though. You actually, yep. uh, let me find the picture of you. You've been using, so the headphones you have on now, actually, oh, uh, seem to uh, work I can't, good. I can't say enough how much i freaking love well the these audio headphones. on those are ridiculously good because They're i've heard them too millimeter drivers yeah. man the bass the sound the comfort um they're not heavy so you don't feel them and they are cheap like they are one of the best sounding cheap headphones i've ever how had. much are they uh i think 20 28 bucks or 29 but yeah. 28.99 maybe on amazon um and so i've kind of recreated the uh logitech cable here um, which I do have some in front of me. So this, you can see the, the picture here too. You can. So the headphones come with two jacks in them, right? They come with a quarter, a cable that's a quarter on one end and 3.5 mil on the other. So you can plug them into whatever you want to use them for, for listening to instrument stuff, which is a lot of quarter stuff, or if you want to use them for regular headphones. The problem is, is the way it's designed. I wanted the cable on the same side. And for me to plug in headphone to headphone with an aux cable, it would have to stretch to the other side, which I have one here that is long enough, right? So it's a foot and a half long, which is angle to straight. And it actually works really good, but you know, it kind of does the whole crossover thing. And you I don't want to feel like I'm getting put choked. it on the top too, uh, but you could, you could throw it around the back. I just don't like it to get the way. around the top of the, right. you know, strap and it to the headphone these top. Cables are like five bucks, right? So with this short one, which is a foot, uh, it works perfect. But I did have to buy the adapter. So I think it's like five bucks for the adapter, five bucks for the cable, and 28 for the headphones. A lot cheaper than Logitech. (laughs) Yeah, you're talking like 38 bucks. And these things are brilliant. I love them. Super comfortable. Um, Yeah, it's definitely my biggest recommendation. If you're running the Elite Strap or the Elite with the battery because you don't have any headphones with that. And you could always go to the Bionic Manus, uh, but these sound way better. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I love this setup. This is my go-to. This is what I rock all the time. They sound brilliant. And links are in the description, too, if you want to check any of that stuff out. Uh, For me, I I, – I don't like the two-step process and I don't like the heat that I get from sometimes wearing headphones, but some people love it and some people it doesn't bother them at all. For me, I'm just picky. So, 
this head strap do doesn't make me hot. Like the deluxe audio strap, because of the padding in it, it makes me feel a little more like trapped. Where these headphones, I don't feel trapped in. I don't know why. Yeah, they, they don't put really a lot of pressure. Stuff too. Like they're yeah, not, they're yeah. super soft. I don't feel hot in them. And half of them are on the strap anyways, as you can see. Yeah, that actually so, might like better, to be honest. I know. And the fact that all I do, and I think, who was it? I think I, I do as well. But Tyreel, I think, said it in one of his last videos where you, you just sit them on the headset itself. Yeah. So you don't, with the short cable, you don't have anything in the way. It all stays involved. You just take it off. It's all easy peasy. Yeah. Super nice, man. I love it. It I does. Like it to works just really. Pop good. This thing on with headphones already on it. This is what I have on I it agree. now. I still, like I said in the right. video, I don't know which way I'm gonna go. This is deluxe audio strap. I love, the, I love the elite strap with battery though. The fact that you can just charge that thing in one. You don't have to worry about dead battery. Yep. Uh, we were playing on real VR fishing on our stream. And Tyler had this massive, what was it, like a, a marlin or something on there, some big, huge fish, almost huge. had it all the way in. And during the live stream, Literally. his quest died. And it, <laughs> he was so bummed. But with the Elite Strap so with that bummed. battery pack, man, that thing is awesome. It's just so sleek. The design of that thing, I love that thing. I so. played for hours and hours and never even had to think about it. And that's what I always hated. You know, we would be playing Population 1 or something else, and I'm like, oh, crap, 5%. I hate feeling the... Uh, What's it called uh, on all the uh, electric cars? Um, range, uh, shoot, can't think of what it's called. When you're fearful of running out of battery. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and somebody will think of it and chat. But yeah, I hate feeling like the battery's going to die. And I was always doing the battery in the pocket. You know, the 10,000 mil pocket right. uh, worked great, but then I always had the cable. I so I was always running it through my shirt or feeling like it was tugging, you know, on the headset right. when I would move. Uh, I don't I don't know, man. This The seamless of the Elite Strap is beautiful. I highly yeah. recommend it. If you don't want to spend the money, I totally get it. There's other ways to do it. Yep. But I, uh, for the long battery, it's great. I do have the Bionic Mantis headphones. I put those on there. Like I said in the video from yesterday, they're really hard to get on there. You got to pull those things apart so far. And I actually pulled one all the way apart, but it still works. Range, range anxiety. Range anxiety. That's what oh, it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I love the electric cars and I could not think of it. Yeah. But yeah. So yep. for me, the, the Mantis headphones, they've never been my favorite headphones anyways. They, they kind of put a lot of the like, spring in them. Sometimes put a little bit too much pressure on my ear. And not super good audio yeah, compared not the to best like audio. these. Like yeah. not even close. But they're man. doable. They do work if you want. Right. And I like that they're white. They match. It looks good on the headset. I do have these on order. We talked about these last I was just time. Say. Uh, yep. These are engineered AF. Uh, we can put the link in the description again. I don't know if we did in this video. Uh, so yep. these are the same drivers as the CV1 audio, which the CV1 Portis. audio was yep. really good. I think it's like the Cost Porta Pros. I think is, yep, the, the yeah. Is. Yep. So, yep. uh, these are going to be a cool solution. Hopefully I'm going to try these out and let you know what I think about these they are on their way. Hopefully they should be coming here pretty soon. Uh, yep. really looking forward to those. And I really think we're going to get a lot of accessories coming. Third party stuff is about to blow up too. for the quest too. I really I think agree, that man. it is. I so. agree. Yeah. And a little tip, everyone was kind of asking on the last video, which we didn't, we just put out, which was on the head straps. If you haven't checked that out. Um, uh, but the uh, the printed stuff, right? So for the Vive Deluxe audio strap, people are like, where do you get them? How can I get them? You know, there's people that sell them. They yeah, do they're, they're on, on Etsy. eBay, Etsy, stuff like that. And you're going to see more of those coming soon, I'm sure, from a lot of people. But a little pro tip, and I'm going to knock everybody that tries to sell them probably, uh, but a lot of public libraries, at least in my area, uh, have 3D printers that you can go use. So all yeah. you have to do is have a library card, which is usually free anyways, and uh, you can go in and use their printers. You take your file in and upload it onto the printer and print it. And all you have to do is pay for material, which is an awesome thing. You can actually get these same day if you're bored and want to go try and find one at a local yeah, library. Just call your library up and ask them yeah. for 3D printers. Awesome. I mean, that's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So I highly recommend it. And the cool thing is you can say you actually did it yourself too, which is really cool. Yeah, that's true. So I highly recommend that to people to try yeah. uh, if you don't own a printer yourself. And but. not only those clips, there are so many accessories oh. that are, you can do. I oh. mean, there's stuff popping up like crazy. This is for the fabric strap. Go. If you just have the fabric strap that's supposed to help uh, comfort a little bit, you know, get that lower part on your head. Uh, there's just yep. so many things. 3d printed stuff for especially vr right. and so many other things that i know really and cool. i think this is a great thing i i my biggest complaint <laughs> oh it doesn't matter my biggest complaint with the soft strap is i feel like it flies off and i think this would really help alleviate that because it kind of cups the bottom and keeps yeah, it from wanting to slip up it doesn't dig into your head too much i don't know with it being plastic well but. true right but yeah, that was just to show how many options and stuff are really out there there's just right. so much 
Uh, so much cool stuff you can do with a 3D printer. I, I need to get one, but luckily Tyler always sends me stuff. He literally <laughs> overnighted me the adapters uh, for the Dude, Duos I will Audio not strap. do that again. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, to overnight something that costs cool. like fifty to make. Yeah, like, I know. It was like 20 bucks to overnight it or oh something my God. crazy like they, that. She asked me, I I, ha, I had them in my hand because I didn't have you know him in a package because I didn't know what was the easiest shipping method. Yeah. And uh, she's like, do you need over $100 insurance on these? And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> they it were costs like, like a dollar. dollar. <laughs> so no, I don't think, I think a hundred yeah. will cover it. We're good. Yeah. But yeah. True that. And I uh, yeah. just, just throwing it out there real quick. The deluxe audio strap does not fit in the case. So the original case that comes right. with the elite strap, it right. doesn't fit with the deluxe audio strap on the quest two. Right. I tried it. It's too wide. It doesn't close. Right. So I had, that, I had yeah. people ask about that. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. True. So yep. yeah. Good point. Yeah, I like the case. I think the case is cool. I do wish you could buy the battery strap separate, though. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I get the bundle because you're probably buying their most premium strap, but I don't know, man. Just sell me the strap right. separate. I agree. For yeah. 80 bucks or something, yeah. or 90 bucks. I whatever. think more people will buy it, so... Well, we'll see. That could be something that's coming, but I mean, these right. things are selling out like crazy. So, and if you, I know a lot of people have ordered these through Amazon Oculus and stuff, and now they're saying, we don't know when it's going to get to you. Some people that order them on Amazon said that, uh, do check, you know, local Best Buys and stuff like that at Walmart, you know, cause you might be able to find it somewhere else instead of having to wait it for Amazon. And luckily with Amazon, you can just yeah. cancel pretty easily. So there hopefully are some other options and hopefully they start making these things like crazy. Cause a lot of people are yeah. interested in them. Also uh, VR cover update on VR cover from, on the actual VR cover website. They're hoping this coming week, you should be able to oh, order right. that from the website themselves and have that on its way. Uh, yep. I have one of the pads here. I have it on my, Oh, I have it on Dude, here. These, I love these I though, man. If you guys uh, grips like these new people coming in the, Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. These grips though are so yeah, good. Like DX you, grips. people, you know, a lot of people getting into VR the last time, I mean, and maybe they weren't into it, but like, you know, the word straps your wrist. You know, we've had those with like the old Wii controllers, uh, the uh, Switch controllers, stuff like that, where they actually strap to. But to have these in VR, when you think you can actually like throw something and fully let go and commit to that, yeah. is unbelievable. Um, and they don't they don't go anywhere. And now they have the updated padding and stuff. I yeah. just love these things. I know yeah. you're like more sold probably in the VR cover as the first upgrade. I feel like these are my first upgrade really? because I got to oh, order those. I have you, the old man. ones. I'm going to, like you said, I'm going to stick the old ones on the wife's mm, controllers. To, so she has smaller hands, see how she likes those. Yep. Uh, but these aren't even the official quest Two. like nothing. These are, yeah, for, those the are just for the first ones. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I know they're trying to work on some things. Um, I know like stuff with the strap and maybe fitment, but these fit, perfectly and you can get the battery cover off a little easier but good yeah. battery life on these so, too as well uh, man. real quick uh dave east asked does the vr cover help with eyeglass fogging and the nice thing with the vr cover i don't know if you can see here but it actually has oh. vents up in here so it has vents up in here i don't wear my eyeglasses in my quest 2 because uh, i have prescription lens adapters which the prescription lens adapters from the first quest work in the second quest right. so I, right. I haven't used my glasses in there i used to do that all the time in cb1 days but now i get scared of scratching the lenses so i i have to imagine it'll probably help because it has those vents and also it comes with a nose flap normally right here so there's a late like a silicone nose flap right here that i took out you can take it out or put I, it I, in that I is doing it that's going to give you Sit. more airflow though. If you take that out, it's probably going to yeah. help airflow a little bit because it seems to be a pretty big gap. Uh, maybe even a little bit more of a gap without that. I, I like to be able to look down and see my phone play space. Whatever. I agree. So Me too. Uh, I think it probably will help. It probably should I flow a, a little bit better. I had a pretty long conversation last night with, um, risky business VR man, uh, last night about that. He said when he put it in, he had the nose piece in the new VR cover and started doing his workouts and he said it fogged up almost immediately with the nose, cover. um, with the nose cover in. And I think he took it out and still noticed a little bit of fogging in it. He did say though, it's way better designed because sweat doesn't drip on anywhere. That's, you know, um, crucial on the yeah. headset and it won't get as dirty and stuff because it didn't have the fabric, but he was still noticing some fogging, which I found surprising. I haven't noticed it. I haven't noticed it yet. yet. I yeah. haven't. So and a lot of that is I dependent know, too on your room temperature. You know, if your room is really does. cold and you go into a headset, you know, and it, and you're hot and you put that heat right. in there, you're going to have more of a fogging issue than if your room is a higher temperature and you put it on and you're hot. You know what I mean? Right. I know. Like in the winter, a lot of times I would put it, cheers Ron, yeah, by you. my, uh, I had uh, baseboard radiant heat, you know, hot water heat. House, yeah. And if I made sure my headset was close to that, 
when I put it on, it was almost already matched. You know what yeah. I mean? So you don't get that initial fogging going in. Uh, that was a big deal. What back in that was CB1 even CB1 days? Months, I had a right? lot of fogging yeah. issues in CB1 days. It seemed right. to be a lot better recently now since all uh, the other stuff. But yeah, Cheers, so Ham, awesome. Hey guys. So yeah, I, I mean, that so far is. I'm really enjoying the Quest Two. I really am. I'm I loving the Elite Strap. I'm loving the accessories already. I think we're gonna see more. I love accessories. I, 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 I just think want, I'm. I want to accessorize. I'm torn. I'm torn between the Deluxe Audio and the Elite Battery. Me too. Like, I don't know which one's better. <laughs> I don't. I, well. I, I, I I like these headphones so much with the uh, Elite battery that I think that's my go-to. Yeah. Though I do like the one step with the headphones with the Deluxe yeah. Audio. I, so I'm looking forward I, to the engineered AF headphones. If those work really good with the Deluxe Audio strap, that's probably going to be my go-to with the, the Deluxe right. Audio strap with battery. But man, if you have a Deluxe Audio strap laying around, just grab the brackets because it is so much more that's comfortable with I'm that saying. Deluxe exactly. Audio strap. Don't even invest, man. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's, you don't even really need the rear need battery to. bank. I mean, you can if you want it to be you know longer play life and a little bit more counterbalance, but just Counter, throwing that Deluxe right. Audio strap on the quest 2 it is more comfortable than the deluxe audio strap on the quest one because you yep. got less front heavy weight it's just balanced better it, it's it's a comfortable headset i think the quest 2 with the elite strap or the deluxe audio strap is a pretty comfortable headset it, it's getting there yep. you know i can't believe how good that uh, head strap feels the factory oculus one just because i looking at it originally i thought the there's not that regular. much the elite the yeah. elite head strap that there's not that much placement for support on the headset and I was a little nervous of that, but man, does it feel so good. I yeah. love it. I really do. Yeah. The ease of it, it's perfect every time. Oh, I love man. how easy it is to Something swap Something about over. it. Skiva, cheers. Cheers, guys. Man, good yeah. seeing you guys, dude. Seriously, so much. Uh, I can't wait to play some freaking Pop 1 with everybody, yeah, dude. Pop 1 next that week. That hype is so effing real. Next week, uh, it's going to be awesome. So, And I dude, also want to you played Walk Around, uh, Walk About, Putt Putt. Oh, dude, I, I haven't love played that one yet. You dude, didn't even tell so me. Sick. You never asked uh, me, like, hey, let's jump in some Walk About. I'm trying so to get my practice mad. in. I'm oh, trying yeah. to find some oh, of those custom oh, okay. balls in there. Okay, I see the strategy now. I see the strategy. So I do want to play. I think you everything. Is it four player? four player i think it is four yeah yes. so i do uh, want to get in there with some people i want well, to play pro that putt added four player. yeah pro putt has four right i can't right. i don't know what uh, and i've played pro putt that's good too so if yeah. you were uh, talking to people which one to pick up are you picking up pro putt or are you picking up walkabout mini golf yeah we just had that discussion on discord yeah i, I need to know the answer night, man i don't I actually already which have pro one putt, though, i think okay so truthfully Oh, man, I don't know. That's such a loaded question for me because, okay, pro putt is way more technical, right? Yeah. So you have like, you know, your grade and stuff that you can see on the greens and everything. But I feel like walkabout is more fun. And I feel like for me getting something on the quest, I want something more fun and less technical. Where if I'm on PC, I want something more technical, if that makes any sense. I don't sort know. Of, yeah. But I, it's a quick pickup for me to quest. So on there, I really want walkabout. Uh, I love the look of it, and it just reminds me of going on vacation somewhere and seeing those big mini golf places yeah, those that are like fantastic mountain. things. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it is. And they even have like the night mode. And I always remembered seeing those courses at night on vacation somewhere. Yeah, you go to the um, beach. You always have you always coast. have yeah. putt putt at the beach. Like there's always exactly. a cool putt putt place. So it always takes me back to that because you get to walk about them, and there's golf uh, balls laying on the course between holes that you can find and use, which is super cool. Yeah, thanks for um, that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just fun. I like it. And yeah, it makes me feel like a kid again. Moda yeah. said that. And that's what it brings yeah. back for me. Too. That's what I, VR does that very well. And they should I, know. Like it again. I know. Uh, so Nick Dewar said, uh, pro putt is supposed to be adding full golf this holiday, which that'll be cool. Like a full 18 holes. You know, of golf. I'm, I'm actually going to top golf tonight. So maybe I should ask them there and see if they, yeah, right. Yeah, they will right, know. Right. They'll be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, image buff said quest two controllers feel terrible to me they seem awkward and hard to hang on to i don't know what i'm doing wrong uh they do take some getting used to if you're used to the older ones but like tyler said pick up the mamut dx grips oh, or something so like good. that i think you're gonna good. find uh it's a lot more comfort with something like that than just you know if you're having trouble holding on to them and stuff that they're gonna stick to your hand like glue uh try yeah. those out they might I mean, help like, you quite a bit like literally if i go throw something like <laughs> you can literally release them like not yeah. touching them and they just stay yeah, on they there. just stick to your hand great and great right product. back there every time yeah. man yeah the vr so wife good. life said she uh, wants to be one of the four for uh the, the golf there you video. go yeah the walk we'll see all right I'll, I'll get i'll get my wife and then we'll have some uh a couple's oh, date a couple's night. battle right? are we go. throwing out some money on this or what are we doing oh i'm totally down yeah. with that so no, if you lose wager let's if, wager a game or if something you lose like you got to give me your quest too if i lose i gotta give you my quest too 
Right. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, you've already had practice. You've been playing. No, never mind. I can't do that. You've That's been true. you've been practicing without telling so me. The so the only nice thing is like so in in uh, walkabout you don't have to Calvin. Cheers. See Thank you. you. <laughs> and uh, you don't have to have the length on the club exactly right. So in pro putt it's very technical on club length as well. Yeah. Um, and walkabout, it kind of floats with the ground. So if you swing through, you know, you're going to almost hit it every time, which is cool. And you can swing through objects. Yeah, it's just and stuff. a little bit more arcadey than yeah, Sim. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. exactly. But I love, the, I, I love on like the courses, there's all these different ways you can hit it. So like you can hit it over here in this little like ramp or hole and it like knocks over and goes over and down and drops down a hole and stuff it's super cool <laughs> and the night lighting is awesome yeah sounds uh, awesome I'll, yeah. I'll, i'm gonna try yep. it out i don't remember what i was gonna say now but uh yeah. right anyways you're going down oh, oh you are where going, you uh, looking down yeah, that's probably. what you're where you uh remember where you attached your quest controller to the mm. putt putt oh to the yeah, for, dude i need to uh, try pro, that pro to my putt, club yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was idea. cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yep, There's a picture of it somewhere sure. back on the Discord, I'm sure, but I don't know where that's at right. now. It's so. a good idea. Oh, VR Spry guy, come on. He said, I bet Sean's wife what? is a better VR golfer. <laughs> she plays VR quite a bit. She probably, <laughs> she is. probably she, is. She kicks my butt at games that she shouldn't kick my butt in. Like, right. we went to uh, Dave and Buster, or not yeah. Dave and Buster's. It was uh, one of these bowling alleys close by that has, like, the big arcade in it, too. And they had a sure. VR thing where it was uh, the HTC Vive. This is probably a year or so ago. And it was a uh, shooter game where you go in, you got four people and they're all, you're like on this ship thing and you're all shooting all these people. And I'm like, oh man, that's going to be sweet. Right. <laughs> so we played that thing. And by the end, she, her score was like way higher than mine. And I was like, this is not possible. I play shooter games all the time. Right. Like, how did you well, beat me? And she kicked my butt. It's funny because like arcade stuff is way different yeah. than like a lot of the technical stuff yeah. we play. So we go in thinking we're going to be awesome at yeah, it. Yeah, I got my butt and kicked. Then I was like, like, this is not no, right. Like I felt, I mean, right. I felt so bad about myself. <laughs> right. Yep, I know. Uh, Skiva. Yeah, I know. It yeah. happens. Skiva, that probably hasn't shown up yet. He said, uh, still oh, to cheers. see my yeah, uh, favorite see. VR show live. Keep up the awesomeness. Skiva's uh, right. he is an OG. He really is. Skiva's an awesome, an awesome guy. So Him and I, Alex I know, both good and guys. I know we're, I know we're starting near the end, but don't leave us yet. Uh, just because I was up, I was up like, I don't know, I'm always up till midnight, right? Every night we have to get up for the show and prep and stuff. But last night, like right at midnight, um, the Jurassic World came on, right? There it is. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, Jurassic World came on the one from, I don't know, like two years ago. I forget which one it's called. And I hadn't seen it, but I started watching it and I, I, I'm not always into like the new Jurassic Park stuff, but I started seeing it. I thought like about the new Jurassic World coming to VR. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. Like I'm going to get to be able to experience this. Right. So I started watching the movie and I could not freaking stop. So I was up so late and all I wanted to do was live in the movie playing it in VR. Yeah. It's like everything I see nowadays, I think ever since Westworld on TV, I just want to live the experience. Yeah, now. Everything needs and that we're seeing it now. though, yeah, right? I mean, we're getting it. them. We have a walking dead. We have Westworld. We have so many. Well, of these we have things. a Jurassic park them. game coming to a uh, Jurassic Here, park see? game coming to a uh, quest. That's what I, that's so, what yeah. I said. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. what I'm excited. That game World was or is it Jurassic park? I, I think it is Jurassic park, right? Uh, no, I think it's Jurassic world. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called I, now. <laughs> I don't remember, but it looks really, really good. We even showed a clip oh, of it in oh. the intro. So yeah. Super, super hot is a must. That. Yeah. That was my uh, recommendation yeah. for first quest so to pick great. up. Yours was uh fishing, real VR yeah, fishing. That's the first one I went into. Uh, yeah, and was... the 90 Hertz, the 90 Hertz, uh, you can do yeah. that. So there's ways around the 90 Hertz. And when you go into the Oculus quest under experimental features, you can turn on 90 Hertz, but that right now is only for the home environment and window browser, stuff like that. But you can do it through uh, ABD commands and stuff like that. The problem with that is as soon as you shut your quest off, you have to do it again. So I don't feel like messing with that every time. So I'm going to leave that be, you know, for playing on the quest. I, eventually they're going to upload it or upgrade it to 90 Hertz anyways. That is coming hopefully sure. sooner than what we think, but you can do it. If you want to experience 90 Hertz in games that support it right now, you can do it through ABD commands and stuff. It just isn't permanent. And that's what bugs me. So Jurassic right. World right. aftermath. Boom. Yep. There you New go. Waters. I know. Looking Squadrons. Yep. 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 I know. I have so much good stuff. Yeah. I know it's a little so ridiculous. Carlos Alcantara said uh, new Jurassic is too cartoony in my opinion, which I don't know because I always thought that like when I would see those trailers, I, I would be like, man, like, play them. yeah, but then I you know. play them and that like cell shaded look, it is cool in VR. It, it looks good in VR, I agree. but I agree. Like I would like the realistic, you know, dinosaur sure. stuff, but I think you're going to like it. The cartoony look, it's actually fun in VR. It works. It really does yep. work when you don't think that it would, but it, it works. It's, it's cool. Yep. So, it does. Yeah. Uh, no, no, there is, there's a lot of good stuff and good stuff coming. Um, what yeah, are our sure. upcoming releases? Do we, what are the big ones coming? I mean, obviously uh, pop one, pop we have one next week. I don't know what else is coming next week. I mean, horizons, I'm still... 
is coming at a point, but I mean, has that because... hype died for you? Because <laughs> no, yeah. for me, I mean, that flatlined, I think. Yeah, it died I don't for know. Me once That's I went mean. into Horizons, but right. hopefully they continue to improve it. Hopefully it gets better. I don't know. But uh, sure. I mean, we still have Medal of Honor coming. You know, there's so many right. good games. We said, oh, they uh, the, the Boneworks world, the Quest 2 game for Boneworks, which I don't remember what they're right. calling it. Uh, right something 55 or something. I can't remember, but yep. that is coming in that. I think it's going to be a big one too. I'm really excited for that. I, don't, I think it's probably going to be next year before we see that out on the quest, but that's, that's going to be a big one. There's a lot of big ones. And I think there's ones that we don't know about yet too. The ones that have yet to be announced. I think that sure. are in the works, I think. And so. like, if you're new to, to quest VR, that ecosystem, please, please get side quest and try out the games that are on there because yeah, there's awesome a stuff. lot of super fun games on there, whether it be free or cheap. Um, it's that really are easy just to do too. amazing. It yeah, really is. There's a ton easy. of videos out there to watch to yep. tell you how to sideload it. It's pretty simple. So. Yep. I know it is. It's awesome. But I highly recommend that as well. It just expands that ecosystem too. Yeah, I mean, you do have sure. to have a PC to load them on, but you don't have to have a performing PC to do it. So yeah, yep. you just yeah. need one to super hook it up simple. too. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Jeremy Grifter. Again, yep. I hope they spared no oh, cheers, expenses. Man. Jeez. <laughs> man, really appreciate it, man. Good to talking see talking about game. It's, I hope they spared no expenses on the uh, upcoming games. Maybe Metal yeah, on Honor. Jurassic World. Jurassic Ooh. World. Yeah, yeah, or any yeah. of them, man. Yeah. I think it's awesome. And they are. They're putting in this effort. And just like we talked about with Pop 1, I mean, they have worked on this for so long and funded this for so long. Um, I get the price point. Yeah. I, I totally get it. I mean, we're getting premium games. I mean, what was... Uh, um uh walking dead how much was it 39 wasn't it 39 i think walking dead on right the so i mean at 29 for pop one i mean come yeah. on pop i feel one like it's about the experience crazy. it's not about the graphics it's about the experience i think but yep yeah. it is yep Fire, so it, awesome it, seriously thank you so much for being here i think that about wraps up the show but go ahead and hit that like button for us if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that right. subscribe button it does help us out you know everybody likes to see those yep. numbers go up so it's always a good thing but we ah, just we, we just got love doing the show man yeah we, we started out five community. it was cool when we got like 10 right yeah and we used to have like, about oh, five yeah, people cool. watching this show if we right. were lucky so right <laughs> I know some but, yeah. of you are out there still in chat too, but yeah, yeah. for sure. We really do appreciate it though. Seriously. Oh, just thanks for hanging out. We love hanging out with everybody on a Saturday morning and just yep. talking VR. Tyler's out of coffee. My coffee's empty too. I'm I got nothing it. left I'm in here. It, man. I'm milking oh, it. I want to cheers anything or... left, but yeah. I'm so seriously, chat. thanks. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Let us know in the comments and stuff, what you've been playing on the quest to what you plan to play. Are you hopping into pop one? Are we going to be shooting at you next week in pop one? Because we will be on Working there. On. We will be playing. Yep. So yeah, it, it's right. a ton of fun. Thank you for that subscription. Seriously. It means a lot to us. We love you Super chats. We, Wait, 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 wait. Why do we always get so emotional at the end of the show? Because it's family. <laughs> we always this do. is literally our freaking family. <laughs> I know, now. it's I true. Mean, we spend so much time in here, and our wives hate us for it. Uh, but we spend so much time with you guys. They would probably argue we spend more time in VR yeah, uh, with would. you guys. Than I'm, we wait, do I'm waiting for a comment to pop up right now. But... <laughs> oh, she's watching. Sorry, she man. I know. Don't say anything bad. I know. I know. But <laughs> Just like our honestly, our super chats and our Patreons. We really, it means the world to us. Yeah. Um, some of them today, Tony Digital, German Rifter, Lincoln Clay, Neo South Memphis, uh, May Waters, Skiva, everybody, man. You guys are just so freaking awesome. Yeah, I, it's just, Thank you so much. Yeah, we, we really appreciate and G2. it. Um, G2 coming up. That is the well, next big yeah. hype is Reverb exactly, G2. Right? Oh, I mean, I'm so we excited are for that. that. And yeah. I know, and I wanted to get into that, and I know we don't want to drag a shot, so we are going to keep going. We will talk about it next week. Uh, but yeah, G2, has it killed, you know, has it killed sales of the G2 with the Quest 2 now? And we'll get into that next week. I think but... it's probably hurt it because I know a lot of people canceled the pre-order. But I think once all the hype comes out from that thing, release him because that is the one headset that I've heard from people that have the Quest 2 and the G2. That is the one headset that made VR veterans go, wow. You know, that, it has I that agree, wow factor. Man. And that is... That is going to be a determining factor. I mean, I think Quest 2 visuals are impressive, but it's not going to compete with the G2 hooked up to a powerful PC pushing, you know, those panels. And, yeah, and the comfort, the amazing built-in audio, the, you know, the great does that I, make it? But does that make it the best VR headset out there? You man, know, and it's we'll two get different into categories. We'll get into to, it's so hard. We'll get into it next week. I don't because want to we're stop gonna really, I know, but we're going to pick it apart because okay. I feel like it's a big big issue that may be dividing us in VR. So and we'll get into that then, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. I'll yeah, keep my exactly. thoughts to myself and I'll stop. Right. Talking. I know it's hard. We always do this before and after the show. We just yeah. rip stuff apart. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I know Seriously. it is hard, thank but you thank you guys so much. so much for being here. Really enjoy it. Cheers. Uh, and we'll right, see you guys back here else. next week or yeah. in VR in the next days. I'll probably be playing tomorrow for I sure. Play, I want to play walkabout. I'll be on. 
want to play walkabout. Let's right? Exactly. I know. Let's do it. Cool. I'm going to the driving range tonight, so I'll be my game will be on point. Why go to the driving range? You just stay home <laughs> and play. Well, Anyways, because, we got a show. Stop it. There's a bus picking me up. We're going to Top Golf. I'm gonna yeah, have to be fun. I've never beverages. been there. I'm not a golfer. Come on, I'm not, not a wrong. golfer, but right? it sounds fun. Exactly. So, yep. all right. Seriously. All right. Thank We're you so much. Yep. Later, guys. Later. We will catch you on the next one. Cheers. Later. I got into VR in 2016. That was when we first uh, we got the rift. Howdy, howdy. Hey, it worked. It there worked. He is. How about Perfect. That? Hey. Um, we're lucky to be here. I will admit that. My name's Tyler. This is Sean. We're Rendered Reality, and we were definitely up late playing some VR last night. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's not always better. Keep <laughs> 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 it PG, boys. <laughs> I mean, right? We don't know uh, like how much right, sound is coming out of it. <laughs> it's true. Right, right. Is there more sound coming out of it? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah.